Hi everyone, thank you for joining us. I'm Kelsey and I'm here today at Welburn Gourd Farm with Christy Barajas. And Christy's gonna show us how to make these adorable little gourd shaped cutouts from a gourd. Um, and this art piece right here, it's actually a gourd vine um, all around. And so that's why the cutouts are in the shape of a gourd. And you'll notice that they are green. And that's because when gourds are growing, they actually are this beautiful green color right here, and they are very heavy. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, they're full of water. And so what happens though is they dry out and then they get this hard shell, thick hard shell if you're getting a well-burned gourd, and they turn this beautiful brown golden color. Um, but so today, Christy's gonna show us how to get this green gourd cut out and put it on your gourd. So can you get us started, Christy? Uh, yes. So for this project, I'll be using a gourd piece. And I have one right here that's been previously carved. And I use the back of it, of course. And I use the radius saber tooth cylinder. And the reason you want it thin like this is because it's much easier to cut it out because this is a very intricate little piece. And also, it's much easier to do the carving now um, than later once you cut out the piece. So you always want to do this first. And as you can see, I already drew out the little gourd. So the first step is wood burning. I don't know if you can see that, right underneath the stem. And that's, that way you can see the, the gourd and the, and the stem. So when we wood burn that, let me start off here. You want to wood burn it at a very low temperature. You don't want it too heavy because once you do your cut, you don't want that little stem to just... To fall off. Yes. Just go up a little. And you can always increase your heat as needed. Oh, it's not really burning. There we go. We just want it... We just want to see it once we have color in there. And it's much easier to burn now than doing it later. Yes. So now I'm ready to carve. But before I carve, um, you always want to wear a face mask and, or some eye protection. All right. And we're not going to use it today because it's just very little light carving and we're in a well-ventilated area. Um, but just want to mention that before you do any carving, you always want to protect yourself and you can just wear a face mask, respirator, and some safety goggles or glasses. Okay, so today I'm using the Gordmaster Pro Carver uh, with the Gordmaster Philipoint. And I want to turn up my, my speed all the way to high. And just using the very tip of it, I'm just going to go in. Just a sec. It's on reverse and I want to have it on forward. So I noticed it was cutting at the wrong direction. So I'm just going to move that to forward. There we go. And I'm just following my pencil line. And I want to bring up the tip right there by the stem. I think I need to go in deeper. So I'm just going to go back in. There we go. And that's what's really nice about this filler point. I can really get into those tiny little areas with that point. So now it's done. And I want to use a diamond burr 
to sand down the edges. And is there a reason you want to use the diamond burr instead of like another carbide burr, like the cylinder saber tooth burr? The reason I want to use the diamond burr is because it's less aggressive. And in case, you know, it gets by my finger, it, it won't harm me like the other one. And it just leaves it also very smooth. So it, you just avoid sanding. Okay. But you can also use sandpaper, but this is much faster. There we go. We just don't want to see any of those hard edges. Okay. Okay, to color it, I'm using pure white and bright green transparent acrylic, and I previously mixed it. And I'm just using a sponge applicator. And I'm just dabbing it on. And just gonna dab it on the whole piece, right? Mm hmm. There. And then once that's done, you just heat set the colors. Okay, and now that it's dry, it lost its shine, but once you seal it with a varnish or protecting wax, the beautiful color is gonna come right back. All right, and then you just glue it on. Um, you can use gourd glue to glue it on. And we do have a video in our free video tutorial series that shows you how to uh, apply your gourd cutouts onto your gourd art piece. So you can go ahead and sign up on our website. It's www.wellburngourdfarm.com. It is absolutely free. Um, and that's all. Carvers. Oh. No. No. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for joining us today, Christy, and we hope you enjoyed. <laughs> all right. Bye. Bye.